Hello friends, today we're going to talk about a special day in the United States that was used to be on May 30th, but our government in the United States changed it to the fourth Monday in May, so we're about to celebrate tomorrow. And Memorial Day, does the word memorial mean, sound like memory or remember? And this is a day where we're to remember the men and women who died protecting us and keeping us safe. Over a hundred years ago, there was a war called the Great War, which we now call World War I. And over in Europe, it's a doctor who was in the war wrote a poem called In Flanders Field. And the first line goes, in Flanders Field, where the red poppies grow. And these picture of some poppies growing in a field. And some women who heard this poem and read it had an idea. They decided that they would make some paper poppies and sell them, and they would give money to veterans. A veteran is anybody who served in the military. So that was what they did. In Europe, they do this in November. And they call it Armed Forces Day or Remembrance Day. In the United States, November the 11th is Veterans Day. And in the United States, they use the poppies, not on Veterans Day, but on Memorial Day. And they make paper flowers, and they would sell them and let people donate so they could help veterans. The money still goes to help veterans in the United States, but they do it on Memorial Day. And when I was a little girl, my Aunt Mary used to sell the poppies. I can remember her giving me one to wear so people would remember the men and women who died to keep us safe. But there's another symbol that can remind us of somebody who died for us. You're right, it's Jesus. Remember John 3.16, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that all who believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So we have the cross to help us to remember how much God loves us. And as long as we believe in Jesus, he will keep us with him forever. And we have the poppy to remember the men and women who died to keep us safe. So let's bow our heads and fold our hands and say a prayer. Thank you, God, for loving us so much that you gave your only son, Jesus, that we might have everlasting life with you. We do love you, God, and thank you for loving us. Amen.